up guys, Robot1 here coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh video and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh video we're doing the future of Yu-Gi-Oh, so on my channel we'll be looking at cards coming out later in the game, discuss them, talk about them and see how good they're going to be. Now, in today's episode of Future of Yu-Gi-Oh, we're going to be looking at the new, well, Vice Stars Frost stuff because the deck has gotten, well, the specific card lore and everything, has gotten a new archetype along with some extra cards as well to go with the lore. And I'm kind of interested to talk about this, see what we've got, seeing as, well, almost every deck from the Star Frost lore has been very good. Even Scareclaw, that wasn't that great, has been able to do really well at some regionals. Hell, Triff Gaming even showed it was pretty decent as well, playing some of the cards on event and being able to do pretty decent with them. And honestly, I'm kind of curious to see what this is because with Kashtira coming out soon and also Tillaments being just uh, so, so busted that <laughs> it, it, I've just yeah my mind with that deck is just ugh it is what it is and also just everything being so good from this lore i'm just curious to see what this deck is going to be like and see if this is going to be like another tier lament dot deck so let's go ahead go through this stuff hopefully it's really good i'm hoping it's going to be good because it's always nice to see new good cards and i want something else to play other than seeing oh tier lament center gray fusion summon yada 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 all of that stuff as normal so let's go ahead and read this see how good it's going to be and just have a good video so we are looking at the new mana dome cards or mana dome and let's see what they do. So we've got a level four here, which is Manadone Room Hut. Okay. From what it looked like, I was expecting this to be like, well, literally Star Frost, but in his complete form. Because the way I was understanding the lore was that Star Frost separated his energies, or he lost his energies, and they went to different worlds, and that's why he was traveling to different worlds to kind of get those powers back. And this looks like him fully enlightened with all those abilities. And I have seen some of the art for this archetype already, so I did have that thought even more so. But we'll see what this is actually, I guess. So, Room Heart. Level 4 Light Warrior Effect Monster, 1500 Attack, 2100 Defense. First effect, if this card is in the hand during the main phase, quick fetch, you can target one Mana Dome Monster or one monster with 2500 Attack slash 2100 Defense. You control, destroy the monster, and if you do special this card. Okay, similar to Vice of Star Frost in a way, where it destroys a card and special summons itself. So maybe this is Star Frost, just with a lot of his energy gone, but it's a level lower, so I don't know why it would be, but hey, we're going to see what else it can do. If this card is normal special summon, you can have one Mana Dome card from your deck to your hand, except Mana Dome Room Heart. Okay, so this is pretty much the Stratos, where you just get free advantage, like you special summon it by killing something, then you get to search a card. Nothing wrong with that, pretty good card. I really have nothing to say bad about this, like it's just a free searcher, search any Mana Dome. Right, what's the second card do? So, Mana Dome Healers. So, from the looks of the artwork, I'm assuming this is the Scareclaw one. Because, as I said, I have seen some of the artwork for these cards. It's level 2 as well, so maybe there'll be some sprite synergy, I don't know. But, I, I'm interested to see what these are, and from the looks of the tree as well. Like, because we're in the tree in Starfrost's artwork here, or uh, Room Tart's artwork here. Like, this, this is on that tree. So I'm assuming the lore goes into a Yggdrasil path, where the, the tree connects all the worlds. So it's interesting to see, because this is probably the Scareclaw world with just the artwork that I'm seeing. But let's see what it is. So it's a level 2 Earth Tuna Effect Monster Fairy. Zero attack, 2000 defense. First effect, if you control a Visa Starfrost or a monster with 1500 attack and 2100 defense, you special on this card from your hand. Okay, so if you control literally the monster here, for instance, you just go ahead and special summon this. So, normal summon it, search this, get a free special summon. Make a link to, I guess, summoning elf, not bad. Or sending, or summoning sprint, for instance, to get a free level 2 center grave. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever, it's free advantage. Second effect, if this card is destroyed by battle card effect, you can special summon one mana dome healers from your deck also during the battle phase of the turn this effect is activated synchro monsters you control gain 500 attack okay so if you kill it all synchro monsters gain 500 attack and you get to summon a healers so you summon another copy of itself all right so it's kind of got like one of the old effects like um the giant germ it's kind of got a giant germ effect where it special summons itself from the deck interesting 
Okay, next card is Manado Meek. Level 2, Tuna, Fairy, Water Effect, Monster, 0 Attack, 1800 Defense. First effect, if you control a Starfrost monster, okay, so they're all going to have the effect where they can space them themselves if you control a 1500 or 2100 defense or a Starfrost. Okay, second effect, if this card is destroyed by battle card effect, you space summon one mana do meek from your deck, then you can increase the level of all monsters of the monsters special summoned by this effect by two. And as you can see, this is clearly the tier laments world right here with the artwork. So... This is interesting. So it seems that they all have the ability to special summon themselves if you control the any of the Rhino Hearts, Room Heart, like any monster with 1500 attack or 2100 defense, just free special summon. Pretty simple, not bad whatsoever. And if they do die by any means, they get special summon another copy of themselves from the deck, and they also gain an effect along with that, such as the first one gaining the ability to boost all synchros by final attack, and the second one being able to boost the mana dome meek from that like you summon from the deck by two levels. So interesting effects. And it seems those are the only two effect monsters that we're getting. So we're going to get the Scareclaw one and the Tear Limits one. So maybe there'll be more support down the line where we see like the Kashtira worlds in one where we see, I don't know, future worlds that could potentially be in this lore. Like it'll be interesting to see because currently with only two worlds when it looks like this tree is probably full of just so many different universes and galaxies it'll definitely be interesting to see what they do and how these different worlds can collide in this lore because this is a type of archetype or kind of lore that konami could go very hard on and spread out for a very long time which is actually kind of interesting seeing just vice star frost just going through all the universes just to collect these remnants of power that for some reason are on these worlds like it's actually really interesting so yeah let's go on to the synchro monster though and what the hell um so this is manadome prime heart so did room heart become like a power ranger or something like that's what i'm seeing here he's got like the power ranger mighty morphin rangers suit going right there like cool okay so it's a level 10 synchro monster effect 3000 attack 3000 defense takes one tuna plus one light monster huh damn okay guys you might not be realizing why i'm saying damn this card can use more than one tuna as synchro material that has not happened for a very long time so that's actually pretty cool konami made a generic synchro monster well, a generic light synchro monster that can just be made with like three tuna monsters that's actually really cool. Like, I, I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, yeah, it could be abused depending on its effect, but that's really cool. I, I like that. I like that a lot. So, first effect. This card can attack a number of times each battle equal to the number of tuners used as materials. Use five tuners. Go ahead and make five attacks on monsters, I believe. No, just make a number of attacks each time. It doesn't even need Turk monsters. Right, you make five level two tuna monsters, all light monsters. You just then punch into your opponent and win. Five 3k attacks, that's 1500 points of damage, guys. I'm sure people will come out with combos, I'm sure. Second effect. This card, see, this card synchro summoned using a manadone tuna as material, cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. Okay, okay, it's got targeting protection. As always, I do have my issues with just being prevented targeting. Like, it's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. I just like the addition of having, like, prevention from destruction over that because there's a lot more things that destroy in comparison to target nowadays. But, hey, it means that they can't just impermit, which is pretty nice. Third effect, if this face-up synchro summon card leaves the field due to your opponent, you can special summon one vice star or one monster with 1500 attack and 2100 defense from your graveyard or from among your banished monsters. So, this card, reading it for the first time, is actually pretty cool. Like, honestly, like, reading this card just for the once, first time ever, I'm seeing a card that can make up to potentially five attacks that can literally just say i'm gonna go ahead and be untargetable if i use manadone cards and if i leave due to my opponent doing something gets to summon out a rhino heart or the room heart that's the new one and just go ahead and get a free search for more manadone cards like this card is actually really cool really strong i really like the idea behind it and honestly 
it's just Starfrost in a Power Ranger suit, which looks pretty sick. Like, look what, look at this artwork. He's there protecting his tree. He's got like the lightning going round him. It's, it is a really cool artwork. Like, I really do like it. So, yeah, like that's Manodome Prime Heart. Cool card. Can't wait to see what other support we've got in this archetype. So let's go ahead and get to it. So, it looks like we've got Roomheart here admiring the Scareclaw universe. Okay. So, Manodome Imagining. Normal spell card. Reveal one Manodome monster or one Visa Star Frost in your hand. Draw two cards and return one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. Okay. So, pretty much this is, I'm going to draw two cards and put one back in the deck. This is literally a Lure of Darkness, which technically needs a Manodone monster, which is a bit unfortunate at times, of course, because you have to have the Manodone monster. But there's nothing wrong with having a card that just says, draw two. And even if you're returning a card, you get to choose the card that goes back to the deck. So, you get that advantage there as well from being able to just dig slightly deeper into your deck. That's a really good card right there. Pot of Greed is always nice, and Allure of Darkness has been shown to be even better. And hey, I don't mind revealing a level 2 just so I can get some draws. That's nothing wrong with that, and that's actually pretty cool. So, second effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one monster you control with 1500 attack and 2100 defense. That monster is treated as a tuner until the end of the turn. Okay, so basically you make the Room Heart a tuner monster. I don't know if it is a tuner already, is it? No, it's not a tuner already. So that's actually a pretty good effect there. Gets the additional effect of being able to make that a tuner, making it easier to make your lovely Prime Heart right here to be able to get more attacks in as well. So there's nothing wrong with that. That's a really good effect. Love it. Okay, second spell card. Okay, so from the looks of this, uh, the tree's being attacked and Room Heart's trying to protect it, but two of the bubbles have been pierced those must be that that must be the scareclaw one and that must be the uh tear Laments one because that would make the most sense i guess because that's why he had to go to these worlds so interesting so manodome ad session normal spell card first effect you can target one monster you control destroy it and if you do add one prime planet calarium from your deck to your hand or if you control a prime planet Karim, you can add one manadone spell slash trap to your hand except manadone ascension and session okay so pretty much it's a way to search the field spell of the deck i can see that there is a field spell one slot below so we're going to see what that does in a minute but i don't know if i like having to destroy a monster to get a field spell search but i guess you can just kill one of your manadone monsters that would just get you the ability to summon another one from the deck and gain that the trigger effect which isn't a bad thing but i just don't know how i like having to kill things to be able to use cards like something like this i think is pretty decent and if you've already got the prime planet you can go ahead and add the allure of darkness for the deck which is just pretty great but i don't know it, it seems good and decent don't get me wrong but I don't know, right now I'm just not too sure on it. But the second effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard, but some one device stuff for us, and one monster with 1500 attack and 2100 defense from your hand. Okay, so free special summon for Room Heart or Rhino Heart or the Scareclaw equivalent. I can't remember what it's called. All right, and what's this? So this is uh, Primal Planet Calarium, the field spell. You can see Room Heart right here going straight into his Power Ranger form, cool. So it's a field spell, and you can reactivate one of its per turn. So first effect, when this card resolves, you can have one Manodome Monster or Vice Star Frost from your deck to your hand. Okay, so it's a searcher, it's another primeval planet, where it literally just says, I'm a search master deck. Pretty cool. So this deck currently has an Allure of Darkness and a free searcher. Second effect, Light Monster you control in 100 attack for each tuner you control and in your graveyard. That's pretty cool. So you just boost the big synchro even more. So if you special summon at the the Scareclaw level 2, the Meek Heart, I believe it said it was, uh, I think it was, and you go ahead and have literally tons of tuners, you get 500 and then however many tuners you have with this. Pretty good, pretty solid, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Third effect, if a face-up tuner you control is destroyed by battle card effect, you can target one of those monsters, special summon it. Okay, that's pretty good. So, what this card basically does is, I'm going to kill my tuner with the spell that searches the field spell or a spell card, and then I'm just going to summon it back. Like, that is really decent when you think about it, just for the fact that it's recursion, and it's also just a free search. Like, there is no downsides to this card whatsoever. This card is great, and 
just having the ability to revive your stuff and also get a free boost out of it there's no downsides to this like honestly i really think this feels first great so yeah like primal planet calarium great card right so they've also got a trap card which i'm hoping is going to be good because traps nowadays are somewhat weaker like the tierlaments ones are all right you do play one or two of some of them but the traps are still kind of slow so i'm hoping to see something good here so mana dome great card normal trap first effect target one tuna or synchro monster in your graveyard special summon then if you special summon a light monster with this effect and destroy one monster your opponent controls with equal or lower attack than that monster okay that's pretty good because that means you just get a free pop like you literally get to pop anything your opponent controls if you summon the synchro monster you're popping literally anything with 3k or less like there's literally no downside to that whatsoever now do i still think it's a bit slow yes you have to have setup for it you need to be able to get something in the grave like you can summon a tuna but the light tuners seem to be pretty weak in attack points having zero attack points most of the part time from it like they both have zero so it is kind of unfortunate for that but if you do summon the synchro monster like you do get the benefits of that as well so like does sound bad but it's not the worst so second effect though if a star frost or a monster you control with 15 or 2100 defense would be destroyed by battle or card effect you can banish this card from your graveyard instead protection for your visa star frost and your 1500 or less 1500 attack or 2500 defense monsters not bad protection pretty decent so i'm not going to complain okay and we've got a uh, big bang attacks right here from uh the power ranger rhino heart uh or sorry room heart sorry mana dome reframing counter trap okay counter traps are nice hopefully this is a good one so first effect when a spell such trap or monster effect is activated while you control a synchro monster negate the activation if there is a visa star frost or a monster with 1500 attack or 2500 defense in your graveyard you can destroy that negated card okay i don't think it's bad but i don't think it's good either and my reasoning behind that is it needs setup you have to control a synchro monster to use it you have to be able to have the 1500 attack and 2100 defense in the graveyard to destroy the card it's not a bad card by any stretch of the imagination don't get me wrong but I don't like how you have to have these small little extra things to be able to get the full ability of a card. I would rather just run Solemn Strike, you pay the 1500, you guarantee the kill of the card, it's just better in that regard. Now, will I say one thing for this? Yes. You can basically search this off the Field Spell Searcher if you have the Field Spell. So it might be considered a one of in the deck. But if you don't set up the Synchro Monster turn one, well, it's gonna be doing nothing. So that is a very unfortunate part of this card, which does take away from it. And I don't like that, but hey, it could be really good in the long run. I'm not too sure right now. Personally, for me, I don't think that effect is worth it when you need so much setup, but we'll see what its third effect or second effect is, and we'll see how that works as well. So. Second effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target three mana dome monsters in your graveyard, return them to the deck. Okay, this is an instant two of, um, at least because this card says, recycle the tuners you're destroying. Yeah, um, <laughs> the counter trap effect is nice, and it is annoying and situational, but reading that second effect, and it's saying, you recycle your tuners, or your mana dome monsters, really, that you're gonna be popping constantly and summoning to the board yeah i can't deny this card has to be played in the deck because popping a lot of stuff and only having three copies of each card and there's only two mana dome tuna level twos you're gonna need the ability to have these cards to be back in your deck so unless you're playing maybe in a shizu variant which i don't think would be too good in this case you're gonna need to be playing at least two of this just to have the ability to recycle and the added benefit of obviously being a counter trap that can negate if you have a synchro monster so the card is not great for its counter trap effect it's good for its recycle effect even though the counter trap is a nice boot bit on top you get to recycle though which is nice so i think this is actually now reading that one of the better parts of this deck just because it's a counter trap that can also recycle cards like, I hate dissing it before I read the second effect now, but I still have my reasons for not liking the counter trap effect. It's just the second effect just 
puts it all together and makes it a better card. Like, it's how it is. But anyway, we're not done yet. We've still got a bit more Vice of Star for our support to look at here. We've got the Arch Enemy that is actually on this lore art right here, fighting against our lovely Room Heart. And we're going to see what it does because I'm kind of curious. So let's go ahead. So it's Vicious Asteroid. Asteroid? Asteroid. I think that's how you say it, Asteroid. Um, Dark Fairy Fusion Effect Monster, level 8, 3 fans attack, 3 fans defense. Takes 1 Vesa Star Frost as part of 1 monster with 15 on attack or 2100 defense. Now, must be fetched summoned by banishing the above cards from your field or graveyard, so it can be easily summoned. It's not a hard card to summon, because you can literally just banish cards from anywhere, and it doesn't require polymerization, so it's a very easy card to make. First effect. If this card is special summoned, you can target one other monster on the field, destroy it, and if you do, this card gains attack equal to half the destroyed monster's original attack or defense, whichever is high. So, right off the bat, this card is actually really decent. It's a card that literally just says, I'm going to special summon myself for free by banishing cards from the graveyard or field, and I'm also a card that can pop my opponent's monsters and gain however much attack is on it. Like, well, half of it, however much attack or defense is on it. Like, that's really decent and has a great benefit as just an additional pop or a way to get more damage in, which is always nice and can beat over big beaters, which is just great in general. Second effect, cannot be destroyed by battle. So, pretty much, it's a semi-towers, which instead of battle, it's said by effect, because obviously you are getting that additional boost of the attack, and it is a permanent increase as well, guys. So, them attacking over it doesn't seem really plausible, but I guess seeing as it is just a free pop already, giving it the ability to not be destroyed by battle, would well, by card effect, would be a bit over the top. So, I can understand why they did that, but hey, I kind of wish that it was just cannot be destroyed by card effect it would have made this card a lot more interesting to me and just a lot better but anyway i think that is almost it but they do have actually one more card which is cash tira extra okay now we all know cash tira is gonna be a dumb deck when it comes out it banishes everything so let's see what this does so cash tira extra first effect if a face-up Kashtira exceeds monsters you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, banish one Vicious Starfrost from your hand, deck, or field, and if you do, special one Vicious Asteroid from your extract, ignoring its summoning conditions. Okay. So, pretty much, you can just banish Vicious Starfrost from anywhere, and it becomes this? So wait, is Vesa Starfrost fighting the Room Heart? Does that mean that this isn't Yadrasil and the... Okay, now the lore is just getting confusing to me because how the lore was going, it was like, oh, this thing came out of nowhere, popped these, made it so Starfrost had to go across the universe getting his powers back. Um, okay interesting I, I i i don't know how i feel about this um because it kind of messes up the law because you can see that he's clearly turning into this okay so visa star for us is becoming the bad guy because he's got the scareclaw powers the tournament powers and also now the kishitira powers because it's turning him into this and he's going after the room powers now which um the room heart is fighting him to stop him from popping these bubbles on the well, Tree, I, I, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm now really confused about the lore side, but anyway, this card has one more effect. If this card becomes banished, you can target one of your banished Visa Starfrost and it's your hand. Okay, so it's just a free rush cycle from the banished for your Visa Starfrost. But, um, yeah. I find that intriguing. I think it's interesting to say the least that you have the ability to just special summon the fusion monster and then also just add back Visa Starfrost. Like, there's no nothing wrong with that. And the fact that it has the additional ability of when it becomes banished, and I'm pretty sure you can turn it only use the first and second effect once per turn. So you can use them both effects. So you just get to add this Visa Starfrost that you banish. So this is also a free summon slash a free add. But I will be honest, guys, this lore is getting mad. I don't really understand where it's going. It's getting really confusing at this point with just this. But hey, it is what it is. I'm curious to see what else we're going to see from it and where this goes. And honestly, this uh, Manodome deck looks 
pretty good. Like, honestly, I could see a lot of consistency with it. I could see it mixing with decks like Sprite, for instance. Like, just having the ability to have these level twos that just pop themselves, special summon out more cards. Like, there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Like, honestly, I think this has a really good potential and can be mixed with quite a few decks. Like, you probably try it with T Elements as well. Like, you could try a lot of different things, especially seeing as, like, the Room Heart. Like, th this guy is just great. Like, he's a free searcher. He's a free, he's a special summon. Like, there's nothing really bad to say about him, especially seeing as he just goes ahead and pops these anyway and gets another one from the deck and also gets to search one. So it's really decent it's guaranteed level 10 synchros and i think it's also good to say that this is going to be something you can play with sprite because it's just free advantage free link twos and there's nothing wrong to say about it, i think like honestly i could see some decks coming out of it i might try some sprite list with this myself and yeah like visa star for small is going further i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed this information and tell me what you think of this uh Visa Star Frost Law and where it's going and what you think the tree here is all about because I'm going to be honest as I said I am uh, I'm pretty confused where this lore is going guys like I thought it was all about him collecting his scattered fragments and now I'm seeing this art which made me think it was the previous but as the pr current and it it's just going a bit weird and I don't know what to think but hey guys thanks so much for watching this has been Rob about one signing out and I'll see you guys in the next one later all